Hey guys, welcome back to All in Unlaw. Today we're gonna talk about risk factors. Sorry, quick OBGYN. And today we're gonna talk about the risk factors that increases the risk of spontaneous preterm delivery. Okay, preterm delivery. So what are the risk factors that increases the risk of spontaneous preterm delivery? So we have a two types. One is known as non-modifiable and we have another one. This is for US family guys for revision, okay, for even for medical students is going to help you. So non-modifiable and the modifiable. In a non-modifiable we have a, a familial risk, okay, familial risk. Then we have what you call low socioeconomic status, okay low education status then we have met a high maternal age or a low maternal age that's less than 18 years or more than 40 years okay look at this there's the both the two groups can lie in what you call a non-modifiable cause a risk factor for a spontaneous preterm delivery african american race afro american okay then we have uterine anomalies, prior spontaneous preterm delivery, multiple gestations, okay. Then we have what you call um, uterine volume, cervical length, short cervical cervix can cause a spontaneous preterm delivery, okay. In a modifiable causes, very important is a maternal smoking, right, substance abuse. Then we have what you call low BMI for mother nutritional status okay then we have what you call uh, if she has what you call uh, infection of the genital tract okay prior pelvic surgery um, these are the what you call uh, modifiable car risk factors for uh, spontaneous preterm delivery okay guys so thank you so much for watching this video take care